Okay guys, back in Genshin Impact again. Next video, by the way, I need to heat up for a while. Yeah, back to the camp. We're continuing the second act, eh? straight away. Albedo! We're here! Traveler, Paimon. How is your investigation? Your faces say that perhaps you haven't turned up anything? We investigated all over the mountain, actually. But we didn't see anyone that looked like you or hear of anyone else meeting you. This is not unexpected. I haven't made much progress either. He appears to know that we are looking for him, and has opted to lie low for the time being. Or maybe he has always operated discreetly. Still, there is one thing I found. I discovered footprints on some parts of the mountain, and although they were a little covered by the snow, I could tell they'd been left by someone of a similar size to myself. Okay. The footprints were quite numerous. So I believe my next step will be to rule out each of the adventurers active on Dragonspine, one by one. We can help with that! We have plenty of contact with the adventurers! So now we... Oh. What was that? Ah! What was that? It came from that direction. Could it be the imposter? Let's go. Yes, let's hurry! Alright, we're starting at 2 now. Let's go. Check the quest menu, okay. Follow the source of the voice. Fox? Ah, ah, what are these boys all doing here? <laughs> hey, hmm? did you see that? Did those rocks shake just now? Oh no. Wait. Oh, it's Yula? <sighs> that was most unfortunate. What are you guys doing here? Oh, Yula and Bennett. And Ember. Some sort of bad luck. I have to agree. We've been wandering this area for days. We ran into Pallet earlier. You know, Pallet. the uh, I don't know kind who. of a reckless sort of guy. You know the one? Anyway, he said he was unlucky, so I gave him some adventuring survival tips. After that, he disappeared to rejoin the training camp. Wait, hmm? wait, wait. Are you saying that after all this time, you still haven't made it back to the base camp? <laughs> uh, well, as you can see, that was nothing really. We just hit a few landslides and snow drifts and took a few downhill tumbles. <laughs> you know the deal. They sound like unforgettable life events to me. <laughs> anyway, you are correct. We haven't made it to the base camp yet. We have had extraordinarily poor luck over the last few days. Almost as if a sinister force has been trying to thwart our every move. Fortunately... I made advance arrangements for Gerald to remain in a safe location and conduct some basic physical training exercises. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm the one to blame for all this. I've always had bad luck and it always rubs off on everyone around me. Sorry to create so much extra trouble for everyone. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Maybe this is the awesome power of fate. The scary kind, I mean. You'll see that. <laughs> I agree. Not scared to be around. <laughs> yep, we're just used to it now. Besides, it's not like we have the most amazing luck ourselves. True. Really? I think you guys have way better luck than I do. Well, uh, what can we do about that? Oh, Paimon knows. Share some well, luck. Paimon shares some of her luck with <laughs> you. You're welcome to a bit of mine too. <laughs> Although, if the last few days are anything to go by, it seems in pretty short supply yeah, at the moment. Yeah, sure. You guys. <laughs> Aw, thanks. <sighs> With a little luck from everyone combined, we'll make it down this mountain for sure. Yeah, you bet. So we're actually gonna go back to the base camp. Let me flip a treasure hoarder insignia to test it out. All right, it's tails. The opposite of what I guessed. So you can predict your fortune this way. But why are you so happy that you got it wrong? It has two sides. So there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it correct. Luck all comes down to probability too. So as long as I use <laughs> up all the bad luck, everything else will go smoothly. Ah, I Guessing see. wrong when I flip an insignia is one way to use up some of the bad luck. So the probability <laughs> of having some good luck in the near future just got a little higher. Uh, okay. Hey, he's making no sense at all. Why aren't you calling him out? I see polite to most I see yeah. <laughs> Guys, I guess wrong in my insignia flip. Which means we should be able to make it back to camp. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paimon's 
not sure that's how it works. Let me try. It's this way, right? Um, is it? Oh, 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 oh my butt! <laughs> what is this shard of ice doing here? How oh, truly miraculous. This is a miracle of misfortune. I don't usually believe in luck, but Bennett makes the best case for it I've ever seen. <laughs> Amber, if you are ever required to partner with Bennett in your future work and you encounter anything like this again, do not take any rash action. <laughs> Wait for me and I will come to support you. Okay. Huh? Y yes, of course. Everyone must be exhausted. Now that you mention it, I do feel a little tired. Checking in the mountains has a way of wearing you out. Well, since everyone is tired, why not take a rest in my camp? I'm so, so sleepy. <sighs> a nice bowl of hot soup and a good sleep would sure be welcome right now. <sighs> <sighs> suddenly, I'm kind of sleepy um, too. Why is everyone sleepy suddenly? Amber will fall asleep in the snow if we keep <laughs> going much longer. Come on, let's move. We shall head to Albedo's camp and get some rest. Take stock of our supplies and decide how to get off this mountain. How to get off? We can just uh, teleport. <laughs> well, not everyone can do that, I guess. Return back to the camp, okay. <clears throat> um. Here we are. Make yourselves comfortable. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I uh, don't have that many chairs. Uh, please wait a moment. <laughs> What's he doing? Painting? He is. He's painting a chair. What? Wait. Alchemy can turn paintings into objects? How is this possible? My paintings are like blueprints. Alchemy simply enables me to omit the manufacturing part of the process. It's an elementary level technique. That reminds me of Sai. <laughs> With enough research and experimentation, the same technique can even be used to create living beings. Now I'm thinking, how does the imposter... Whoa. Well, since you can magically produce chairs, <laughs> can I have one of the backrest? I'll have a stool. No problem. How many of you want backrests? Me! 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 <laughs> I'll also take one with a backrest, if you please. Can Paimon have a chair that comes with a juicer? A whole chair is way too big for you, shit. <laughs> Still beats squeezing onto a stool with you! Hmm. Creates five chairs for everyone to use. Cool! We have chairs now! <laughs> This is so comfortable! Makes me want to stay the night here. You're very welcome to stay overnight if you wish. There's still some time before dinner. Get some rest, everyone. I'll tend the stove. Hey, now. We can't be letting you do all the work. I can help. Please, put me to work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you know what? Um, I want to switch my character before I con continue. Amber, you can do it, but I'll do it myself. <laughs> a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. This is no good hunter, <laughs> but there should be enough to go around. Please, help yourselves. Wow, smells great. Don't mind if I do. Wait, don't steal all the fried vegetables. Uh, leave some for me. Hey! Everyone enjoys dinner around an open fire. Okay. Ah, Paimon's full. What a great meal! Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in the top restaurant. Are all <laughs> alchemists so good at cooking? Hmm. You may be onto something there. Right? I might think so too. It's his lab manner that gives it away. The kind of guy who holds a potion bottle as steady as a rock isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be slapdash with his salt and <laughs> pepper. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Albedo? 
I'm so sleepy after all that food. <laughs> <sighs> Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> he must be totally it's wiped been a out. Tough few days. The way he's sleeping is so alert. I'm impressed. He seems to be in a deep sleep. Ooh, Kaima wonders if he sleep talks. Oh, oh no, Dad, no apples for me. <laughs> I want sticky honey roast and fisherman's toast. Sticky honey roast. That's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. <laughs> I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. Okay. She said we ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> <laughs> she also said then. that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. Memorize everyone's All favorites. she'd have to do oh. <laughs> is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Ah, it's nice that you two are so close. The traveler and Paimon always eat together too. It's a sure sign of true friendship. Two people simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. That depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Paimon just noticed something. Whenever Eula doesn't want to admit to something, she raises her chin or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> oh, you've all picked sense. up on that. Didn't know Eula's tells were so easy to spot. <sighs> we are done here, yes. I am free to go, am I not? Then please excuse me. I have a frozen lake I need to be at. A frozen You're going lake? for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! Don't go without me! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. So maybe you should stay here and rest. No, I should come with you. It's late, and it's dark, and you're not good with directions like I am. Come on, let's go together. Amber and Yula going for an ice bath. <laughs> Where is that ice bath, I wonder? <laughs> an ice bath? Oof, rather them than Paimon. <laughs> so much roast meat. Hey, Dad. I'm doing all right. I'm the leader of my own adventure team now. Wow. Ben, it really is a sleep talker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like we got some downtime now. All right, you two. Time to paint. Oh, is this the paint scene? Okay. Time to show what I can do. Sure. Have you decided what to paint? <laughs> like you even need to ask. Okay then, fine one it is. Sure. Oh my gosh. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Okie dokie. Alright, grab your easel, paper, brushes, and paints. Don't leave anything behind. Go to the painting spot. Alright. Hmm. Let's paint here. To adopt an elegant pose for your artistic reference. Huh? <laughs> hey, what's that look for? Okay. Cut the attitude and start putting your perfect Paimon down on the page. Perfect Paimon. You better take this seriously, because this is going on Paimon's wall. Alright then. Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. Start painting, let's go. I actually saw a little bit of this part eh, from another stream. Alright, let's start with the head. Now, in your mind's eye, what is written on Paimon's face? Paimon's all out of brain juice. Paimon's peeved. Dopey but adorable. Hmm. I'll say... Adorable, yes, dopey. Paimon's peeved? Huh? Is that how Paimon really looks to you? <laughs> okay, forget it. We can come back to that. Let's move on to the body. Come on, pet what you see when you look at Paimon. A top-tier flying pet. <laughs> pet. 
What is this? Speed Drifter pet. Top quality emergency food. Well, I've always avoiding the emergency food options, eh? So... I'm sure most of you pick emergency food, so I'm not gonna pick that. I'm gonna pick top tier flying pet. <laughs> I think if it's emergency food, it's gonna turn out even worse. <laughs> and Paimon will not be happy. So, yeah, done. Why is it lagging? Hold on. Uh. Okay. Let me see. Let Paimon see. <laughs> Why is it lagging? Damn it. Okay, there we go. It's still lagging. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, why is it lagging? Why is it lagging at this scene? Come on. Not bad, right? I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> why do you... How could... Uh, I'm only for words. <laughs> the brushwork is smooth and the composition seems professional quality. Professional? No problems there. Okay. So what the heck happened to your face, huh? Explain that stupid expression. Explain it! <laughs> yeah, the face, I guess. Very, very little. No, but art comes from the heart. Very, very little, I'll say. <laughs> oh, really? So it's just a hobby then? Oh, well, that sure explains a lot. There's no way you would have made Paimon look like this if you'd had any amount of formal training. I was just trying to convey how special you are. Yeah. Fascinating. Paimon, if this is not to your liking, I can make a few amendments. A traveler. What do you think? Yeah, please and thank you. So he's gonna change the artwork, huh? Okay. <sighs> Alright then. Paimon, is Whoa. this better? I've heard of this. I saw this also before. It's... It's... Wow. It's Flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art art. This is not to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level, rather that the real you and the you in the painting present two different styles of beauty. <laughs> you remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. That was my trial by fire as an artist. Now I see the gap in our painting talents. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Albedo. Oh, I merely added a flourish here and there. You should be thanking the Traveler. Did he? In truth, ground up overhaul is more or less an ground up accurate overhaul? description. The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes it. <laughs> Great! Paimon has a portrait painting! Paimon's gonna show this off to everyone! <laughs> You're so happy, thank you. Alright. It's right. nothing. I can paint you next time, if you'd like. You can hang it in your home as a souvenir. I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. <laughs> but... I don't... Dislike it. Understand. Liveliness is Can a rare thing here on Dragonspine. Everyone rest at the camp until morning. Ah, it's a new day! Let's go meet up with everyone! You examine the picture? Hold on. But this isn't the Paimon you know at all. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I can't really take when, uh, but yeah, there's Paimon and the painting right there. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm about to freeze. Let me get to the fire. What's going on here? Hey, good morning. Oh, I slept great last 
night. How about you guys? All rested up? I'm fine, as usual. Okay. The path down the mountain is easier to follow in the daylight. Let's take this chance to head down to the base camp. Let's go! If we make good time, maybe we can all get lunch together. So we have to go down? Open it. I flipped another insignia just outside the camp. Wrong again. So your bad luck is all used up. We'll be down the mountain in no time. Yeah, <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Today's the day. All right. Oh. What was that? Oh, avalanche. Avalanche. Oh, shoot. Look out! Oh no. The bad luck is still there. <laughs> oh gosh. Traveler, Paimon, are you alright? Are you hurt? Uh, Paimon's okay. fine. Oh, that's good. My arm got a little scratched up, but it's nothing serious. You know? I'm okay, but I don't see the other two. I'm afraid the avalanche may have pushed them off the cliff. They fell down? They'll be okay though, right? I think they're both robust enough to survive the fall. But if the falling debris knocked them unconscious, oh no. and they're lying there in the freezing cold, we have to get down there and rescue them immediately. You have to okay, go down there? Let's move. Hang in there, guys. We have to go down that area. That explains why the bridge was broken. Okay, wait, let me get some heat first. Emergency food pay. Ah, sorry, Risa, I didn't. <laughs> I chose the other option. Adventure time. <laughs> I, I figured everyone surely would pick the emergency food option, so I decided to take the other one. <laughs> anyway, I'll just uh, maybe watch uh, those who pick that option. So I'm supposed to go down. Let's see. Okay, I'm supposed to look here. Yeah. Bennett? Bennett, is that you? Guys, yeah, there he is. I'm over here. Okay. Where Are you is right? uh Are you hurt? Where is Albedo? I I uh, let me check. Hmm. I'm a little dizzy, but I'm not in any pain. I don't think I'm injured. Thank goodness. Scared the life out of me. If you're dizzy, sit and rest for a while. Ah, uh, it's fine, really. This kind of thing happens all the time. I'll be fine. Wait, where's Albedo? Isn't he with you guys? He jumped to save you. We thought he fell off the cliff with you. He still hasn't shown up? We found Bennett here, so Albedo can't be far oh, away. No. Keep searching this area. Got it. We have to keep finding, and we are halfway frozen. <laughs> Look for Albedo, there's two polar places. Do I have to? Albedo! Nope. Uh, no response. Back to the I fire. I looking in the right place. He's not here either. Hmm? Well, let's check with the others. <sighs> well, any sign of him? No. Not a trace. Nothing for me either. Strange. We didn't have any luck either. Where could he have gone? Everyone. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute. He doesn't have a star on his neck. I think he's not the real one. Ah, Albedo! <sighs> are, are you okay? Nothing serious. Sus. No star on his neck. <laughs> okay. Everyone accounted for. Guys, I... I think it's got to be because of me. The avalanche only happened because no, I'm here. No, no, no. It's not your fault. I think... I guess flipping a treasure hoarder insignia isn't going to change my luck after all. No wonder no one wants to go adventuring with me. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Don't say that. I'm hardly the lucky type myself. Yeah, I can't so I'm not about to go blaming every little thing that happened. goes wrong on you. Exactly. Besides, Dragonspine is a dangerous place. 
Avalanche has literally come with the territory. Bad luck has yeah. nothing to do with it. Okay? But was it really accident? Or was it uh, an imposter's doing? And I think this is an imposter. Traveler, what's wrong? Your face looks. <gasps> oh no, did you get hit on no. the head? No. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Everyone, the incident is behind us now. We should keep moving. Um, are you really albedo? Why do I feel that dragon spine has become more dangerous than it used to be? I hope it's just my imagination. Our top priority now is to get off the mountain and regroup with the adventurers. Whatever further dangers this mountain has to throw at us, we must face them together. Agreed. Guys, keep your eyes peeled and watch your step. Careful does it. Hold up. Descend the mountain with Albedo. Are you sure it's Albedo? <laughs> I don't trust him. I'm... okay. Where is this next point? Okay. Here we go. Whew. We've been heading in the right direction for a good length of time now. We must be getting close. I can feel it. Victory is in sight! Hooray! As soon as we get to base camp, Paima <laughs> wants a bowl of hot soup and some barbecued meat. I hope we can all get there safely. No more incidents, please. Weird things have been happening this whole trip. Something feels wrong, but what is it? Hey, what's on your mind? You seem a little distracted. Uh, some things I don't know where to begin. Something's up, isn't it? Uh, are you hungry? Cold? Shall Paimon hug your head to warm you up? <laughs> Thanks, but I'm alright, Paimon. <laughs> no, that's not it. I don't think I've spent so much time on Dragonspine before. It sure is cold, but the view is amazing. <sighs> Isn't it, Eula? Eula? Hmm? Sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you say? I was just thinking. Whenever I've met up with you at Dragonspine in the past, we always stick to the same few spots. It's much more vast and beautiful here than I realized. If it were a little warmer and a little safer, I bet this place would be bustling with visitors. Yeah. But because it's the it's so cold here, something seems to grab Yula's attention. Oh, maybe she sent something too. I agree. People are put off by the cold and have an aversion to danger. They don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy exterior, if you were willing to spend the time and energy. Albedo, is this the way down? Yes. I think there are several routes in this area. Mm, does the path fork off here? It looks like it does. Mm, but maybe it doesn't. My head's still a little fuzzy from the impact. I'm kind of dizzy too. I keep thinking things are swaying a little. Uh, maybe I'm just hungry. Why is like everyone is feeling sleepy, now everyone's feeling dizzy? Neither path will work for us. The smaller trail is less warm right and harder here. to see, but it's also shorter. Since everyone is weary, I suggest we take the shortcut. Follow me. Um... Yeah, that seems sus. Albedo? Everyone follows Albedo, okay. Where are we now? Wait. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Bennett and Amber don't look well. Can we take a break? We can continue once their conditions have improved. Okay, yeah. Oh, now that you mention it... Huh? I... You hit your head earlier, didn't you? Oh, you, you noticed. Uh, are you sure it's worth holding everyone up over a little thing like this? No problem at all! Yeah. Take a break. Okay, sorry for this. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Albedo? What's wrong? Imposter Albedo? <laughs> Just to be sure.
he does not have that star on his neck. Does that mean something? Talk to everyone. I can't even talk to this Elvido. Well, and you lost, so. <laughs> Amber. Drinking some water can help with the dizziness. Oh, and uh, lying flat on your back helps too. Thank you, Bennett. Seems like you really know your stuff. <laughs> well, when life gives you lemons. Bennett, weren't you feeling dizzy too? Stop pushing yourselves, both of you. Get some rest. We'll continue when you've gathered your energy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yula might come off as a little frosty, but she takes caring for her friends super seriously, more than anyone else I know. Every time I see that look on her face, I'm just like, ah, stop <laughs> staring at me. Talk to Yula, okay, now I can talk to Yula. Traveler, I know what that look means. What's on your mind? It's like something bad's about to happen. I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe seasoned veterans have an instinct for it. <laughs> I sense it too. Something seems to have changed, but I can't confirm for sure. It could be difficult to verify. Uh, for me, it's the star on Albedo's neck, which disappeared, and that seems sus. It might be imprudent to speculate out loud <laughs> but i believe you know what i am referring to does yula know already oh uh, albedo what is he doing traveler i, I think. think he's an imposter <laughs> watch out something's gonna happen oh no ah see Oof. Whoa. Damn, what a mission. Damn. Let's burn it. So you lie in uh I'll be there both eyes, huh? Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a scene. Oh no, why is it lagging now? Okay. Uh -oh. oh. Oh. Ah. The real albedo. That's the real albedo. Albedo, what? It's not over yet. Wait, what? Oh shit! A whooper flower? What? Brace yourselves. This will be a challenge. Wait, what? Stay back. I'm going to cut this weed down to size! Oh shit, okay. A oh, fell flower, okay. It's called a fell flower. Wait, 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 wait. Destroy the fell flower's arcane fruits. I need, I need fire, then. Okay? Wait, how do I destroy? Oh shit, I need bandit. Holy sh... Okay, wait, hold on. And I'm freezing. Wait, okay, I need this. Excuse me? Oh, okay, I'm not- ah! Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Pick up the fell flower's arcane essence. Oh, shit, okay. Oh no, there's some ice no slimes. Oh. No, 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 no. I. Oh no, I need the fire. I need the fire. Bet you can't keep up with me. 
Wait. Okay, what? This is tough. Defeat all opponents, eh? including the eyes. Oh, shit. Okay, destroy the arcane fruits. Emperor can still aim at the top. This threat. Destroy the arcane fruits. I keep aiming at this. Oh, these ice slimes. Okay, pick up. Event is shield from red. Oh, this this is for the shield. Okay, we need to pick it out right then. There we go. Ouch. Barbara, I need your heal. Damn this ice slimes. Oh. Off we go. Let's go. Oh no, I need the heat. I need the heat. Hold up. Ugh. Amber, let's go. A bit more. Just a little bit more. Come on, Ember. A little bit more. Oh shit. Focus on the first flower. Go, go, Baron Bunny. Oh shit. Bennett, Bennett, Bennett. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> wow. Damn it. Okay, that's the real LV though, yeah. So this fake albedo was a fell flower? That doesn't make sense. Because he can talk though also. Well enemies can talk too, but Is everyone alright? We're fine. But can you please tell us what's going on? I oh I don't gosh. understand. I take it this monster is whom I had the pleasure of meeting last time. Correct. As you might have guessed. This is a mutated whopper flower. Mutated whopper flower. Extremely rare kind. But can whopper flowers turn into humans? Yeah. Well, how can that be? Not typically. But conditions on dragon spine are far from typical. Perhaps the dragon's blood seeped into the land, then was passed to the monsters via the ley lines, accelerating their rate of mutation. Really? How could that happen? This mountain is home to the remains of Durin, the venomous dragon. Mm -hmm. If there is anywhere in the world one might expect life to do unfathomable things, it would most likely be here. Durin was an artificially created life form. Just like its existence is nothing himself. short of a I'll miracle and proof of countless possibilities. In other words, this mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries. A vast terrifying hotbed of possibilities the avalanche it must have been the work of this imposter yeah i think so agreed all the other troubles you faced on the way down could also have been its handiwork my guess is that it was targeting everyone that i've had contact with did this purple flower stay your alchemy notes too right i forgot all about that it's not inconceivable but what was its purpose hmm. was it just what? trying to get rid of us I have a preliminary hypothesis on this. 
Whopper flowers are masters of mimicry, and those we encounter in the wild often appear in the vicinity of the plants they impersonate. In other words, the Whopper flower likely has an instinct to replicate and replace. As a plant, it will disguise itself as another plant and infiltrate the group, hiding among them Instead for cover. Instead of a plant, the you plant disguise as a beetle. has no way to detect or fight back against this behavior. But, when it disguises itself as a human... It wanted to replace you and infiltrate our group? Yes. Maybe it created the avalanche to get rid of us. I predicted this eventuality, so I availed myself of the avalanche to hide and lure it out. Oh. What? It was watching us the whole time. And when it saw that I had disappeared, its instinct was to take my place. At that point, its disguise was complete. And its next move was to hunt its prey. So, does Albedo already know that this thing was... Yes. That's exactly how Whopper flowers operate. So okay. when it approached and attacked Joel, what was that? A trial run? A trial run? Perhaps. Or maybe it enjoyed posing as a human and wanted to experience what it felt like to be human. We're fortunate to have discovered it in time. I think the Traveler yeah. was the first person other than Albedo to notice something was wrong. You were perceptive too. Traveler. How could you tell the real me and my imposter apart? The star on your neck. I want to know too. I had no idea. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the imposter exactly didn't the have a star shape mark on his neck. Yeah, that's exactly what I saw. <laughs> I see. That star on your neck. What do you mean? What was that? What's that mean? how difficult <laughs> it is to impersonate a human. This mutant whopper flower tried its best to replicate the original exactly. But still managed to miss some details. Okay. Unbelievable. To think that Dragonspine creates such terrifying possibilities. A whopper flower, it adds up, but a piece of a puzzle is still missing. Yeah, something is still not right. Even though... Was this the same one we met on the day when we were chasing the thief? It didn't feel quite the same. Could the whopper flower's mutation be unstable? We met on the day we were chasing the thief. Anyway, at least we won in the end. It looks like my method did work after all. <laughs> I used up all the bad luck, and the good luck finally came through. About that. If you're referring to having fallen down the mountain and avoided injury, well, that's because I was secretly yeah. protecting you. He protected <laughs> him. Huh? That uh, <laughs> still counts good Well, luck. that still counts as good <laughs> luck to me. <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. <sighs> okay. We've been delayed long enough. Time to move on. Yeah! Let's go! Alright. Oh? What? Return to the adventure camp, okay. To oh, we're, we're out of dragon spine, okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, a whooper flower of all things, really? <laughs> all right, let's Adventure try. time. Okay, so now what? Hmm? Woohoo! I'm back. <laughs> Cyrus doesn't seem to be here. He must have headed up the mountain. Let's wait for him here. Amber, are you feeling better? Yep, all good now. Nothing to worry about. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. If not for you. I'd probably still be locked <laughs> up in that cage. Yeah, I should be. I really want to thank you all properly, but I can't think how at the moment. Huh? You must be pretty used to being on the receiving end of people's kindness by now, though, surely? You probably need it often enough, given your... situation. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, don't put it like that. Sure, plenty of people have shown me kindness before. But that doesn't mean I will ever take it for granted. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times people help me out in life, I will never forget any of them. Well, instead of repaying those who helped you, perhaps you could help others yourself. Yeah. Everyone meets others in need from time to time. By choosing to be there for them, you're passing the kindness you received onto others. Yep, you're right. That's what I've always tried to do, and will always continue to do. <laughs> right. 
And when Cyrus gets back, I'll find some way to help him out too. Right. <laughs> this has been quite an eventful day. Yeah, it has. It's really hit me how tired I am now that I've started to relax. <sighs> I need to rest. Everyone, please excuse me for a while. Okay. Yeah, I need to get some water and maybe a piece of fruit. Once I'm rested up, I need to get back to being an instructor again. <laughs> <sighs> well, it looks like the curse of the mountaineers who couldn't get off the mountain is finally broken. All right. Feels like an action-packed chapter has come to a close. Shall we find somewhere to rest and chat, too? Why not? Then, please, come with me. Knew he had something to say to me. You sent something, too, didn't you? Then let's go. Huh? Are you going back to your camp again? Um, Paimon thought maybe we could talk here. There must be something else. Let's go, Paimon. <laughs> uh, okay. Might as well come with you. Good. Shall we set off right away? Yeah. Sure. You follow to the campsite in the mountains. Okay, back to the same place, eh? Sorry for bringing you back here once again. <laughs> back here again. Some topics are best okay. discussed in private. What is it this time, Lido? Is this about the imposter? That's right. Okay. I have to say, traveler, I'm very surprised you noticed the difference ah, the between mark me and on the your imposter. Neck. Yes. This mark. Perhaps it's where it all began. Where it all began? Ooh, sounds like the beginning of a big okay, story. Keep going. Keep going. Well, I uh, can't deny that what I'm about to say does sound like something from a children's storybook. So, what do you think this diamond shaped mark means? Hmm. Uh, a tattoo? A scar. A crest? Something else? Yeah, I, I could think that it might be a scar. No. No. Consider it a. Uh, Birthmark. A birthmark, okay. Have you ever seen an intricate glass ornament and wondered how it was made? Well, one method for crafting with glass is a technique known as glass blowing. Glass blowing, glass blowing is not a widely known art in Tevat. For this reason, glassware made in this way is usually very expensive. Mm -hmm. As the name implies, glass blowing involves blowing air into a hole, much like blowing up a balloon. Uh -huh. This type of glassware is known for having a pontal mark at the point where the blowpipe was inserted, where the hole was sealed at the very end. This mark is a sign that the item was crafted by a human hand. Sounds oh. kind of amazing! So, it's like... I kind of understand It is a wondrous and beautiful art form. Alice says that these marks are seen as proof of the maker's fine handiwork, the only flaw in an otherwise perfect work of art. My mark is something similar to this. Right. The difference between synthetic and natural life lies in the directional flow of the life force. The energy of a natural life form flows out from within. That's why flower buds bloom and curled leaves unfold. And it's the very reason we watch and wonder at blossoming flowers. Creating life artificially, on the other hand, involves, to a certain extent, the introduction of an external source so of energy <laughs> into the embryonic life form. When the hole where the life force was infused is sealed at the end, it leaves a mark not dissimilar to the pontal mark in blown glasswares. Okay. The alchemical substance drips and spreads out in all directions, resulting in this rather ingenious diamond shape. Mm -hmm. Wow! So that's where it came from! This mark is a sign of my artificial origins and proof of my imperfection as a human. Huh. I presume that the imposter intentionally avoided replicating this mark yeah. so as not to become less than perfect himself. How, how come the imposter did not follow that mark? <laughs> this is less than perfect himself. Should you be telling me all this? Yeah, telling me all of this. Is you that are okay? fundamentally different from other people. I have few qualms about sharing my secrets with you. Just as Paimon said, it, it all sounds, sounds like, like a story. story. Even if you were to tell anyone else, they would regard it as nothing more than a tall tale. The transcendent and miraculous are not the only things to which human beings aspire. They pursue the everyday, the ordinary, 
to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. Hence the notion of otherness. People like to believe that those who are thoroughly different from themselves could only ever exist in stories. Mm -hmm. It makes things much easier. Or, in other words, all the unfathomable things we've seen recently would make good material for a novel. I have friends who write novels. If they wrote this story, it'd probably be even more complex. Making up stories is easy. Even Paimon can do that. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know you had that kind of talent. <laughs> Paimon's the best guide into that. Making up stories is a piece of cake. In that case, how about we have a storytelling oh. contest? We can base our stories on the events of the last few days. Right. Sounds great! Uh, but we still have to help out the Adventurers Guild. I understand. <laughs> Creativity is something that cannot be rushed. Take your time, and come back when you have found some inspiration. We'll see whose story is more... compelling. Story yeah. contest with Paimon and Albedo? Okay, <laughs> we'll regroup with the Adventurers Guild for now. Okay. Sure. My story. Yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. Why is it lagging? Like this is where the story truly begins. I didn't see that scene properly. It was so lagging that the scene didn't move, eh? But the dialogue was still moving. So I didn't see that properly, but I saw the other impos the imposter again. <laughs> Wind tree, whooper flower, rise of the fell flower. Uh, this whooper flower has undergone immense changes. Destroy all the arcane fruits and defeat the fell. Uh, defeat again? When the fell. Uh, use arcane fruits to interrupt the attack. Defeat four monster and create. Oh, what? Oh, this is a challenge? Guess what? Oh. Let's go see our video again. Hold on. Oh, wow. Rise of the Fell Flower. Oh. So it's another event quest here. That I can challenge again. I see. Uh huh, I don't have anything. Probably you have to do this mini games, eh? <laughs> mini, mini challenges, I see. Okay. But the story is not over, is it? Wait, no, I think it is over. This is Act 3. So I think Act 3 is another story. That was Act 2, right? Okay, then, then I'll end the video here. <laughs> Maybe Act 3 will be in another video. Well, this video will split into 3 then. Okay, guys, so we're going to part 3 next. That will be another video. So this is it for part 2. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.